Hello everyone, once again I have organized a mapping competition to celebrate a nice subscribers milestone on my channel. This time the goal was to build a map that will look like a real life object. As the prize the builders of the three best maps will receive the object that they have built. I've decided that I will pick two of my winners and the third one will be picked by the viewers of this video. So watch carefully and let me know in the comments who in your opinion should be the third winner. I received 27 maps in total and I think they all deserve some screen time, so I will briefly present you all of them. Let's start with a map built by Janet named Cube Jump. The map resembles a Rubik's Cube, an average cube can cost like 10 euros. It might be much less or much more depending on the quality of it. It looks pretty fine, but the shape isn't very complex as it's just a simple cube with different colors on the sides, so it wasn't the hardest thing you could build. What really stands out on this map is the route, which is in my opinion the most drivable one out of all the submitted maps. Next map we'll look at is Yo Mama Fat by David. I don't think I have to explain what this map is supposed to represent. It's hard to call it an everyday object and it's also hard to estimate the value. Also it doesn't quite look like my mom so maybe someone in the comments will be able to tell me whose mom exactly it is. So we can compare. The route of this map is pretty creative, going on an underwater trip through the digestive system. Sadly there isn't much going on as the start is just press forward and the rest is pretty slow paced too. Also a missed opportunity to add some kind of a jump out of the track at the end. Next map is Sigma Garbage by Damel, a map that looks like a garbage can and the track inside it that represents the trash. He literally asked people on my discord for things they hate the most in the game and added it all to the route to make it as trashy as possible. The cost of such a garbage can can be around 20 euros. Not sure how to estimate the cost of the trash inside. The object itself is built really well, a bit oversized, the route is long and painful and to be honest I didn't even try to finish it myself. Next map is Puffs by Orpwinder. A box of Reese's Puffs, a bowl with them and a spoon. The box of these cost like 10 euros if you wanna get them in Poland, which is ridiculous. I'm sure it costs much much less in USA. The box is really simple to build and the puffs are just single objects, so it all comes down to just placing them around. The route is pretty short and not that exciting, just some precise slaloms between the cereal and the turn around the bowl. Next map is NVIDIA RTX 3080 Ti by Truck. He built a GPU that is roughly worth around 2000 euros. I will be clear with you guys, if this wins you can be sure I will come up with some clever workaround. I'm not getting paid enough to just randomly spend so much just for a meme. Also I think there might be problems with even finding one of these to buy. The object is replicating pretty damn well with a lot of nice details included. The route is not that fun to drive, it starts nicely but then the rest is not that exciting. Next map is German Keyboard by Consinus. I'm not sure if it's supposed to look like any specific model of keyboard, but I guess you can buy a cheap one for like 10 euros already. It looks pretty well and the route is decent too with driving between all the keys. Solid work, but somehow I had a feeling like nothing here really stood out. Next map is The Glorious Duckling by Captain Toothpick. 
I'm not sure if his intention was to get a real living duckling, I guess they are pretty cheap, but it might be hard to send one in a package. It's built pretty well with maybe few spots that could be polished a bit more, it also has a pretty nice root built inside the duck. Not sure if he knew that when building, but I'm a huge ducks lover, so this is the first map that I will pick as my winner. It's absolutely subjective, but after all, it's my contest, I can pick whatever pleases me the most. Good job and congrats! Next map we will look at is Trebuchet by Trebuchet. Next map we will look at is Trebuchet by Probis. I have no idea how much a real size Trebuchet costs. I doubt you can even normally buy something like that. But you can get a toy Trebuchet for as low as 20 euros. The object is built fine, but it lacks any smaller details. It's very angular and simple. The root has some weird tricks, it's not bad, but it did not steal my heart either. The next map is called The Lamp and was built by B-Strong. It was based on a specific model of a lamp, but when trying to find it, it only showed me results from some Russian pages, so I have no idea how much it costs. The shape is not that well looking, it really could have been polished much more. However, the biggest downside is that when you drive the map, once you enter the lamp, you barely can see anything. Would be really cool to have some kind of a light source inside, perhaps a lamp. Next one on the list is a nice bowl of milk made by Max Chess. It's a box and a bowl full of milk, I'm sure it can't cost too much. While the box and the bowl both look fine, the milk which is spilled all around didn't really turn out that good looking. The root of this map is set fully on ice, it looks like a really good map on the replays, but I suck at ice so I can't reliably test it myself. Next map is just called James and it was built by Mr. MR. It's a PC case, it doesn't have any details to tell the exact model, but I guess such thing costs quite a bit. And yeah, as I said, with lack of any details, it just looks like a box with a fan. The root inside is okay, nothing really special, but it's playable. The next map will be 7k Sedes by Hookward. As you can see he built a toilet, at first I thought the 7k is supposed to be a prize, but then I realized that we are celebrating 7k subscribers. It looks alright, but some parts could be built a bit better. The root of this map isn't that great, actually it's pretty confusing how it should be played. But we can nicely flush our car at the end, so that's nice. Next one will be Ice Cubes by Ariases. The temperatures here already dropped below zero, so in theory, if this wins, I could get the price completely for free. It's a very easy object to build, it's literally just a bunch of cubes. The root isn't that exciting either, you just slowly make your way over all of these cubes. But after all, you can say it's a cool map. Literally. The next creation will be Cassiograph 35 plus E by LinuxCat. It's a scientific calculator. I tried to find a price, but everywhere it's either sold out or you can only find a used one. That's a bit unfortunate because I've decided to pick this map as a second winner. 
I guess I will have to contact Linux Cat and we will figure something out. The calculator is pretty accurately replicated and it has a nice route that I actually enjoyed hunting to get a good time. I'm an engineer myself so I fully support this choice of an object to build. If he wants to spend his evenings drawing some parabolas then I will help him with it. Good job and congrats. I have picked my two winners but the video is still not over. We are gonna see the rest of the map so that you can pick your own winner too. The next submission is Acer Nitro XV2XV240Y built by Scoop. It's a monitor and from what I have checked it's worth around 200 euros. It looks fine on first glance but when you take a closer look you can see that some details could be improved. The route is inside the monitor so the path has to be pretty narrow. It has some interesting tricks but also some weird or annoying parts. So when I was trying to get a good looking run I only got frustrated. Next map is named A Simple Car and was built by Forkswift. It shows an outline of a car. The map was built with simple editor, so there are no bigger details because of the lack of available blocks. The route of the map is very short and also not that fun to drive. Sadly, it was very hard to build something decent for this contest with just a simple editor, but a nice try anyway. Next one is Shaped Guff, made by Guff. It's a pretty simple looking knife, looks more like a military one. I bet a good quality one is very costly. The map itself is a multi-lap where you drive on the knife's outline. It's rather simple but also enjoyable to drive. The object itself is quite plain too, it has some nice smaller details but nothing too complex. Next one is Badminton Racket by Vantori Kadru. As you might have guessed, he built a badminton racket. An average one should cost maybe like 20 euros, unless you are a professional then it's probably closer to 100. I have to admit it is built pretty accurately, but it's just so small and uncomplicated. The map itself is just a lol track, it's only one jump, bounce on the racket and landing in the finish area. Fun to play, but not that much effort to build it. Moving to the next one, we have a map called Totally Not a Shitpost, also simple editor sucks, and it was built by Baka Khan. Hard to say what it's supposed to look like, my guess is that it was supposed to be a heart, but you are surely not gonna win my heart with something like that. It's awful to drive as well, but still thanks for participating. Next one is gonna be Bicycle by Dennis, an average bicycle can cost like 300 euros, this one is built pretty well, but it's a shame it's flat and not built in all three dimensions. It surely would give much better impression. The route is carefully hidden on top of that bike and it's more of a pathfinding style of a map. I didn't really enjoy driving it that much, but maybe RPG players would. Next map is Schlagenheim by Grmx. It might be hard to say what it's supposed to be, because it's actually a replica of a cover of an album from a band called Black Midi. When you know what to compare it to, it looks pretty accurate. Another interesting thing about that map is that it only looks properly when looking at it from above in a correct angle. The route of the map is short but enjoyable. Pretty solid work right here. Next map is Golden Geese First Home by 
golden key. It's a very simple house without any details, just walls and the roof. We don't even have windows or doors here, it's more of a shed than a house really. The root of the map consists of a single backslide and a jump to finishes. Nothing too crazy, but it's a fun lol map. Next map we have here will be Hot Wheels by Leo the Tech Guy. He was trying to build a Hot Wheels logo, but it really just looks like a Hot Wheels written with roadblocks. It was built with simple editors, so once again, he didn't have many options to use here. The route is okay, just few jumps, but completely unnecessarily you have to do 3 laps of it. Next map is going to be Sandbox by Eric Kui. Without the track name I wouldn't be able to guess what this map represents. It's just some kind of an area with a track inside. Maybe some kind of accessories like a small shovel or a bucket could give some better clues. The route is not that well built either, but at least I had a lot of fun playing it, mainly thanks to the shortcuts. Next map is called Soup Dinner and was built by Boxtrot. This one is pretty complex as we also have a bottle of wine, a glass and some kind of a bread nearby. The bowl of soup is nicely built with some veggies inside and a long spoon. The whole truck is located fully inside of it. It's pretty fine to drive, just some of the turns are a bit weird or unnatural. Next map is going to be Very Original Tree by Sangorio. Here again I would have a problem with identifying the object if I didn't know what the map is called. Maybe if the branches were a bit more organized it would be more clear that it is a tree. The root of this map is alright but at some parts it's not very clear how it should be driven. But when you play it a few times it obviously is not a big problem anymore. The next map is going to be the last one and it's the dirty phone built by Moret. It's some kind of a smartphone but it doesn't seem to be any specific model. Things like that cost couple hundred euros usually. There are not that many details right here so it surely could have been expanded much more. The root of this track is just a simple maze between the icons, nothing extraordinary. Alright, so these were all of the maps, I hope you have picked your favorite and you are about to write me a comment. To remind you, the maps Glorious Duckling and Cassiograph are already winners chosen by me, so you have to pick something from the remaining 25 maps. I will check the comments in about one week to find out who the third winner is. If you enjoyed the video, remember to subscribe, because I am not that far away from 8000 subscribers and if I reach it, I will organize the next mapping competition. That's it from me, have a nice day and goodbye.